So guys, in this video, we'll see how to insert a new node at a given index in the linked list. So we have seen the cases where we have to insert the new node at the front, at the end. And now we look at the case where we have to insert the new node in between the two nodes. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. So this is the class node we are using and this is the linked list we have. And this is our head. Okay, it the class node has an integer i that stores the value and a reference next that is of type node that stores the link to the next node and this is the linked list we are using. So we'll write a method that takes the head of the linked list in which the new node is to be inserted, the index at which it is to be inserted and the value that is to be inserted. So our method takes three arguments. Okay, so our method is going to be something like this static node insert at the head takes the index where this is to be inserted and takes the value i which is to be inserted and somewhere in the main i'll call this method right so suppose in my main i had my node head that is pointing to this linked list and you can say something like head is equals to insert at you pass the head you maybe say you want to insert at index 0 1 2 and you say maybe the value 10. So by the end of this video, we'll code the main as well and we'll just see how the insert works. For now, let's just see what is the code in this method. So if you observe this linked list, your indices are going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this linked list has five nodes. The indices of the nodes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Node at index 0 has value 12. Node at index 1 has 54 and so on. So suppose our index is 3. Okay, and the value to be inserted is say maybe 27. So you have to insert value 27 and index 3. That is, at in this index, there should be a value 27. So the list should be 12, 54, 6, 27, 9 and 18. So the new node has to be between 2 and 3 indices. Okay, let's see how do we go about this. So if you observe, when your value of index is 0, it means you have to insert at the front of the linked list. So you can handle that case separately. If index is equals to zero, you can call the method to insert at front, which we have already discussed. And then we come in the else part. There is one more case that you can handle is when your index is at the last. Okay. At the last, I mean not four, I mean five, right? So when your index is equal to the size or greater than equal to size, they mention in some cases that even if it is greater than equal to size, you insert it at the end. So you can handle another case for the end of the linked list. That is, you can say else if index, okay, greater than or equal to the size, okay, of the list, the head of which is we are passing, okay, you handle a case separately, okay, you say insert at end, okay, and your case else if closes here, else this is the case where you have to insert between two nodes, okay, so your index is not zero, your index is less than size. So this is the case where our index is greater than zero and less than size. So index is greater than zero or you can say greater than equal to one and index is less than size. Okay. So this is the case that you are going to write. Okay. Index zero, you insert at the front index greater than equal to size of this list. You insert at the end. Otherwise we write this method. So first I'm going to write the code and then we'll see how that runs. Okay. So I'll take two variables of type node which is current, current is pointing to head dot next and I'll take another variable of type node previous which is pointing to head. So previous is always going to be right behind head in our code. I take another value in current index and we, I set it to 1. The current index will tell me the index where this current pointer is. So since I'm starting at head dot next, so my current index begins at 1. Okay, since we already handled the case for zero, I'll write a while loop. Okay, I'll say while current is not equal to null. I'll write an if condition here. If current index is equals to the index where this new node is to be inserted. So first I'll have to create a new node. I'll say node, new node is equals to new node passing the value of i. Okay, new node dot next is equals to current and previous dot next is new node 
Okay, we'll see how this works. So the only requirement of this function was to insert one node at this given index. After this is done, I'm going to break the loop. Otherwise, I'll say previous is equals to current. Current. So this is one statement. I'm writing two statements in one line. I'm short of space. I'll say current is equals to current dot next, and I'll say current index plus plus. Your while loop ends here. This else ends here. Okay, and before you close the method, you return the head. So this might not look very clear. So I'll just try to explain it. We have two variables of type node current, which is pointing to head dot next, and previous, which is pointing to head. You have an integer value current index pointing to one because we are starting with head dot next. Current is not equal to null is a while loop condition. While loop opens here. If current index is equal to index, this indicates that the current pointer is at that node where we have to insert our new value. So this is going to insert the new node at this location. So you create a new node, you give it the value of i, you set the next of this new node to current, and you set the next of previous to new node. You break the loop because you had to insert just one node in this whole method. So after you are done inserting, you come out of this while loop. So your while loop ends here. So if this is not the case, if this condition is not true, this is the part after if which says previous is set to current, current is equal to current dot next, and current index plus plus. That is, you are moving one node ahead. So previous tracks current, current moves on to the next, and current index increases by one. And finally, when you are done with this else part, okay, you return the head. So in our case, index is three, i is twenty-seven. You come inside this method, index is is equal to zero is false. Else, if index is greater than or equal to size, size calculates the size of this list. Size of this list is five since there are five nodes. This is false as well. So you come in the else part. For this else part, this starts here. All right. So we take one variable current, okay, that points to head. So we'll take a head for this insert as well. So this is the head in the main, and this is in the insert. Okay. So head points here. Okay. When you come inside this method, the head in the insert points here. So your current is pointing to head dot next. Head is pointing here. Head dot next is pointing here. Current points here. Previous points to head. You have a previous that points to head. You have a current index that takes the value one. So I'll take the value of current index here, which is one right now. You check this condition. Current is not equal to null. Current is pointing here. This is a memory memory location, not null. True. So you come inside this okay loop. You check the if condition. If current index is equal to index, current index is one, index is three. This is false. So you come out of this if body. You come here. Okay. Previous is current. So previous points to Current, current is pointing here. Previous points to here. Then we say current is equal to current dot next. So current is pointing here. Current dot next is pointing here. So current points here. I'm just repeating this that whenever we use equals to, and we have object references on the other side, the reference of the right hand side gets copied to the left hand side. Saying that wherever right hand side points to, left hand side is going to point to that location. So in this case, current dot next wherever is pointing to, current is going to point to that. That's why current moved here, and then you say current index plus plus, so current index becomes two. You go back to check for the while condition. Current is not equal to null. Current is pointing here. This is a memory location, not null. True. You come inside this while loop. Check for this if condition. Current index is equal to index. Index is three. Current index is two. False. So you come here. This statement says previous is equal to current. Previous now points where current is pointing. Current is pointing here. So previous also points here. Then current is is equal to current dot next. Now wherever current dot next is pointing to, current is going to point to that. Current is pointing here. Current dot next is here. So current now points here. And current index plus plus. So current index becomes three. You go back to check for the while loop condition. While current is not equal to null. Current is pointing here, not null. Current index is equal to index. Current index is three. Index is three. This is true. You come inside this if condition. You come to this first statement. Node new node is equal to new node i. So basically, you create a new node. The new node takes the value i. So we have say new node takes the value of i as twenty seven. Okay, and it has the variable next. Let's see where this is set to. Okay, and this is our new node. You move to the next statement. New node dot next is equal to current. So wherever current is pointing to, new node dot next is going to point to that. Current is pointing here. New node dot next is going to point here. So new node dot next points to this location, and then you say in the next line previous dot next is new node. Previous is pointing here. Previous dot next points to 
new node. So previous dot next rather than pointing here now points to new node. All right, and then you break out of the loop. So you come out here out of this else part, and then you finally return the head. The head in the insert is still pointing to this location. So head in the main keeps pointing here, and when you return back from this method, you lose references to all local variables. So you lose reference to this. You lose reference to head in the insert. You lose current. You lose previous. So I'm going to remove all those variables we are losing. You lose new node. So when you return to the main after the call returns from this method with the value index s3 and i is 27, your head keeps pointing here. Head dot next is this. Next of this is this. Next of this is now this, and next of this is now this. So the indices now are 0, 1, 2, 3. 4 and 5. So you were able to insert this value i27 at index 3. Alright, so your linked list is now something like your head is pointing to 12. The next of 12 is 54. The next of 54 is 6. The next of 6 is 27. The next of 27 is 9. And the next of 9 is 80. Okay, and the next of this is 9. So you were able to insert 27 in the linked list. So let's run the code that we just wrote. So this is the class node I'm using. And this is the method to print the list. There is this method to insert a new node at the front that we will use for case where index is zero. This is the method to insert a new node at the last. This we will use when index is greater than or equal to size. This method to find the size of the linked list given the head. And then this method insert add that we discussed. So you see if index is zero, I call insert at front. If index is greater than or equal to size, I call insert at end. Otherwise, I insert somewhere in between the two nodes, right? So in the main, we have these values that we will insert in a linked list where head is initially null, all right? And then we will print the linked list. So when we insert all these values in the front of the linked list one by one, we get this list, all right? Now I will insert at index. I'll say head is equals to insert at head index is 3 value is 27 the example we took and discussed so let me print this again so i'm inserting 27 at index 3 so this is index 0 1 2 3 so 27 should be inserted between 6 and 9 so you see between 6 and 9 i have 27 which takes the new index 3 i'll add a new value at the index 0 i'll say index insert at index 0 say maybe value 90 right so 12 will be pushed one node ahead. So 90 will come before 12. Let me just print this as well again. So inserting 90 at index zero in this list gets me 90 at the front. I'll add one more case where I'll say head is equals to insert at say maybe is the size of the list. All right. And I'll say value 87. Okay. So size of the list in this case is 3, 3, 6, 1, 7. Right, so it will be inserted at the end of the linked list. Right, so value 87 will be appended after 18. So 87 is appended to the linked list, that is, it is added at the end when I insert 87 at index is equals to size of this linked list. So I will add one more case where I will insert the new node at the last index, that is, where 87 is right now. So 87 will be shifted forward and there will be a new node between 18 and 87. So I'll say this is maybe. 33 and I'll insert at size of head minus 1 which will be the last index let me print again so you'll see 33 between 18 and 87 right so this is how you insert a new node at a given index in the linked list right so I hope this was helpful so please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and thank you for watching